hello 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 my kings and queens how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i am doing okay over here thank you so much for asking my name is queen m from queen's life and today we have a crafting doll tree haul for you guys um i believe there is like maybe one item that's not crafting but technically it is i don't know but i hope that you're having a cup of coffee tea juice a snack i just did a video actually a couple of them back to back so i still have the same shirt um and i did a review on this maxwell house uh, iced coffee with cream and sugar go check that video out I did give this iced coffee a thumbs down. I technically don't like to give thumbs down to, you know, items that I taste, but it did not make the cut, at least for me. I am parched, so I'm going to finish the drink. Since I did spend a dollar on it at the Dollar Tree. But if you want to give it a whirl and try it for yourself, go ahead I taste the coffee in it. I do taste the creamer in it. The sugar, however, is very low. It should have been a little bit sweeter. Um, the um, coffee in itself seems like it was made with like skim milk, not like whole milk. So it's very thin, watery, and that's why I give it a thumbs down. And the sugar, it would be a little bit better if it was a little bit sweeter to my taste buds so if you see this and you want to pick it up and try it for yourself go ahead as far as me i'm giving it a thumbs down i will not pick it up again now this is a dollar tree uh, kind of um craft haul but i just want to show you that i just bought this one um fisher price 72 count um baby wise fragrance free i know this is not crafting but sometimes when i am crafting and i want to clean my area and i want to clean my hands i always like to have um, wipes near me i know that i have some in my room i have some in the kitchen i have some in the bathroom i have some in the car but i like to keep one um, stash with my crafting items that's just me so I'm considering this part of my crafting um, item because I do keep it with my crafting section. Now, the one that I was saying that it might not be crafting is this one. And it's from Tool Bench All Purpose Caulk. And it's white, it's not clear, it is white. Use on top sinks, windows, trims, and more. Orderless, paintable, interior exterior and it's a 4.5 ounce and I, I needed to pick this up to fix something in my home so I have purchased this before and it works very well just like if you were to go to Home Depot and buy one over there that's how well this one actually works so I was in need of one of these and I'm gonna seal it back to see if I could actually use it with my crafting items. So I did add it to my crafting haul for you guys. Now, this is a repurchase for me. This is the nine piece stickers. Um, and I purchased it for a friend mail, but I kind of saw that they already purchased it and they said that a lot of people were gonna send it to them already. So I might send it to someone else and still keep one, the other one. And I bought another one, which is this one. Simply for the fact that this Nomi right here has a cup of coffee there, a cup of coffee there, a cup of coffee there. This one's just plain. And then you got regular leaves that I believe that you can use as well. Not really. This is a hedgehog um, sticker and thankful there up here it does say grateful and very thankful i could probably do an atc card with something like this maybe so i'm going to keep this one for myself and i'm going to figure out who i'm going to send the other one to i already sent some friend mail today hopefully they get it and they're very happy with it i didn't remember if i hold these two colors 
as you all know, I have been holding all the Sharpies. This one's in the purple, and this was in the teal color. I don't remember, I have to look through my stash, but just in case, I went ahead and picked it up. If I have it, I'll give it to Jaden, or I'll give it to my mom, or guess what? I'll just simply take it back and get something else, because it's not open. I mean, I don't know if I, ha if I have them, this one in particular, I don't think I hold the purple one. But, of course, there's always honking when I'm in the car, guys. Uh, but this one, I don't remember. I don't think I picked it up. So I just go in ahead and pick these up for my collection. They are both ultra fine and they're both Sharpies. So you know that they are good brands and they last long. I did purchase these 14 piece from Crafter Squares Magnet. These are so, so strong. Um, but I wanted to use it for a um, crafting idea that I have. Um, Bonnie from Bonnie Bon Bon's Holes um, does uh, magnets. However, I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing, but in a different way. And I still need the magnets. I'm not gonna use the tumbler blocks or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna try to attempt it a different way, but still using the magnets going over to bonnie's channel her channel name is bon, bon holes so she has a great channel going over to her channel let her know that queen's life sent you over i did end up picking up two more of the on um stylus uh two in one pen because when i got home and i opened it the pen wrote in blue guys it wrote in blue and you guys know how much i love writing in blue ink i don't like the black ink if i have to use it for legal purposes yes that's fine but for my own personal writings i absolutely love love writing in blue if i get a pen in my hand that i think that writes blue and it's black I will put it to the side I do however like to collect the novelty pens which they all come in black but I'm collecting them because of the way that they look that they're so pretty not to technically write but guys these are seven dollars and 97 cents at Walmart and they write in blue so I already hold three packages before and I bought just two of these because they were nice and colorful and I could differentiate what's mine from what's my mom or what's Jaden and I absolutely love them guys. I'm very happy about this. Now you guys know I also have been hauling a lot of ribbons. This was only a four yard and it does say that it's a wire edge ribbon i picked it up because it was black and white it has not a particular design like for halloween even though it was with the halloween section i could use this ribbon all year round for whatever crafting idea that comes to mind and so i did pick this up you guys know that when i pick up a ribbon i technically don't like to buy a particular theme that way I could use it in any of my crafting that I do and it kind of matches so I did pick this up because it has actually no theme to it no holiday theme to it I could use it all year round it's only four yards if I want to take a little bit wrap it around and send it as friend mail I can as well so I just did pick up one of these and the last item that I picked up is for friend mail. And I just had to pick it up. I had to pick it up. Because I picked up the smaller ones and now I saw the bigger ones. It's a six pack from Crafter Square Sunflowers. And I did haul the smaller one. And I think with this, I'm good and ready to send the package out. Uh, I sent a package out today, but um, 
you know, I try to send like every two to three days a package to someone different. A lot of times I don't do too, too many giveaways because when I see a lot of people commenting on my videos, I just go ahead and send them a package, a little small package, almost like a thank you, instead of doing tons and tons of giveaways. Um, maybe I'll switch it around and do it as giveaways instead than just picking the people that you know write a lot in my comments maybe i'll switch it up that way because you know maybe it'll attract more people to my channel um some of them don't know that i do send like about 10 packages a month that's quite quite a lot of packages but being that some people might skip through the video or just watch the end of the video, just watch maybe just the beginning of the video, they don't even know that I'm sending packages out or they don't um, get into the giveaway or whatnot. But instead of just randomly picking people and sending um, friend mail, um, well, I'm still always gonna send friend mail no matter what. But instead of sending a whole bunch of packages out, 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 I'm probably just gonna do it as giveaways instead. But anyway, this one is for friend mail. I'm pretty sure that you know who you are and I know that you're going to love it, guys. So with that being said, that concludes this crafting haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, please give it a big thumbs up, a like, and a share. And guys, please, I have noticed in my analytics that I, I have 67% um, viewers, but a lot of you are not hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. It only takes one second, guys. 67% of my viewers are not being subscribed. So please, please, if you could please subscribe. If you don't have... Um, a phone ask your son ask a family member to go into youtube and help you just hit the subscribe button i know a lot of you see the videos on your tvs i do understand that and there's no option on tv to hit that subscribe button but if you could get somebody to help you like a family member um when they come and visit you um go on their phone and hit that subscribe for me that will help me a great deal also um the thumbs up you guys got a thumbs up the video uh, a lot have i know a lot of you have been seeing my videos but you guys are forgetting to thumbs up the video it will let youtube know that you're interested in my videos and you want to see more of my videos and it will recommend me to a lot of you guys so with that being said i hope that you do help me out and um, don't forget to stay home, stay safe, spend time with your family, create memories, capture them on camera. Don't forget to be blessed, be happy, most importantly, stay healthy. Don't forget to be positive, spread that positivity and that positivity will always, always, always come right back to you.